Hello you creepy aliens and welcome to me playing World of Horror. A one stroke two bit old style DOS very old windows horror game. Because I've got horror on the brain and you know that's just stuck there now. So that's what we're going to deal with and that's apparently what I'm just going to keep playing. New game. How would you like to customise your next playthrough look? Oh no I've seen all the palettes. Uh, no thank you. No thank you. I'm fine. Okay, whoa, just saw something there. Uh, ah, right, these are the levels I'm guessing. Customize the playthrough with a schoolgirl with a spooky mask. Fair enough. Uh, choose your own character. Hmm, didn't know you could do that. I might do that one. It's your first time, it's recommended that you start with the spine chilling story of School Scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. Uh, interesting. I kind of want to choose my own character, so yeah, let's do that. That could be fun. Oh, he's not creepy at all. Uh, right, what have we got? One of the core ideas is modularity, allowing you to mix and match various card packs with different content. Simply select card packs you want to be included and continue by pressing the arrow in the bottom. Or arrow in the bottom. Uh, everything you need to play, yes, so we'll have that, right? Aha, so I'm guessing X means, yeah, we got it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. More students contains additional four skins for random student allies. Sure. Four skins, unbelievable. Okay, yeah, that's all fine. One last thing, a tall man left a suitcase for you this morning. He said you would know the password. I wonder what that could mean. Uh, obvious, wait, it's already there. Oh, no. Uh, it's clearly... Cheese. So close. Maybe cheese with a Z. No. Unbelievable. It opened! I was right, cheese with a Z! Okay. Uh, city of Shi Shi Shiokawa? Yeah, Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. I like the way I skipped the first room was trying to pronounce what Shiokawa was before even reading anything. Just Shi Shi. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort. But also new unknown threats. Hello, unbelievable. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the Earth aeons ago, are awaking as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrive in the doomed town. Okay, so this should be where I choose my character, right? Character background. Ah, we got the yeah. portrait. <laughs> uh, Yakuza driver. Teen Isle. Uh, photographer. Transfer student. Yeah. Swimming team captain. Well, I can't swim, so she's out. Sorry. <laughs> not your fault, that's not mine. Uh, hmm. Plus charisma, minus strength. Starts with a random ally. Okay. Could read all those. Perception and dexterity starts with a camera. That makes sense. He's a photographer. Plus knowledge, minus strength. Starts with a random spell. Yeah. Maybe. And dexterity, knowledge, combat speed. But oh, come on. Uh, might have to be a captain of the swim team. Yeah. I do like speed bonus and dexterity. Uh, cool. Yeah, got him. That is all fine. Cultist? Huh? True believer. Oh. We'll start with cultist, if that's what's on. Wait, front level increased? Hold the phone. Lowered, no. Initiate. Front level. I guess, yeah. I'm assuming cultist is normal then. I know I could have just skipped straight to the first thing. But, 
I'm a sucker for trying to create my own character and do all that stuff. Classic mode. Old Gods are Awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. End of the world is at hand. Additional modes will unlock as you progress. Oh, I've only got this one then. Somewhere a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their master. Uh oh. Select the old god and click again to confirm your choice. Spider god, the devouring fire, the towering eye, and the thing forsaken by god. Hmm. It Hotu, devouring fire. This the supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue has recently discovered. Has been recently discovered and is currently waiting in the museum of Ooh for its long awaited premiere. Entropy, both your damage and your enemies is increased. Okay. Huh. Ah. Fair enough. Let's do it. The supposed that cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria perfect black mama statue was recently blah, 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 blah. already done that. And oh god, sorry, both of your names do extra damage, back to the world of horror, catch just did that. Okay. Right, there I am, down there. So we got spells, none yet. Uh, wait, I'll take it back. Items, any spells, nothing. No, it's a ritual status. Fine, probably. Allies and perks, you. Jeez, jeez. Wait, level up. I'm blue. What a tease. First time playing, click here. Hi, welcome and thank you for trying World of Horror. Inspired by adventure games from the 80s, the visual overload may be a little disorienting in the beginning. In this short tutorial, I'll do my best to explain various elements and prepare you to fight the horrible old gods. How will create the game? Uh, yeah, main game screen. Well, if I, do you know what? I don't have enough experience. 15, 17, 55. Right, we'll carry on. Carry on. Uh, I'm going to go to my home first, see what it's like. Check your mailbox. It's empty. Okay, you think of your next move. You're not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recently, this paper comes in, let's click it in your room to point you in the room. Three open draw. Open draw. Play. Beautiful. Light switch. Weird, nothing happens. Huh? Oh. Don't know why we've got a poster that's been ripped, but that's fine. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. The way the decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Macard memoirs. Uh, memoir of morbid mermaids. Curious case of a contagious coma. Lame account of abnormal arms. Eerie episode of Im evolving eels. And spine chilling story of school scissors. Let's do that one. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumour has it. A terrible woman has returned from the grave, a woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic clues. Notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Let's find out. Uh, let's see. If rooms are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Excuse me! Excuse me for hiccuping! Somewhere around the school! Okay, so... Pick up the school lockers. That could be good, but we haven't got any codes. I'm guessing we need a code for some of the lockers. So let's explore the school first. Who's that? Listen, that's me. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologise. Who was it? Perception check failure. Well, before you realise your wallet is gone, the thief is long gone. Minus two funds. Great. We've already been robbed at school. Let's see if there's anything we can uh, click on. Doesn't look like it. Less chalk not found, holy candles not found. Okay. 
It looks something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find this item. Okay, let's explore the school again. Catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Uh, take a peek, horrified. It's art knowledge perk. Okay. A little peek. Gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths that make you sick. Minus two stamina. Well, we're doing really well so far. We've been robbed and we've lost stamina so far. Uh, oh, you found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems the blessed chalk was left on the roof. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the roof. Peek outside. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, she kept it close. So mean. Shouldn't risk that again. I'm fair. Okay, so for the school, we want to go to the what's it called? Roof. Why am I in the classroom now? Oh, there you go. On the roof, you find the girl your friend was talking about. In one hand, she holds a bag. In the other, a pair of bloody scissors. She has got a pretty wide smile. Um, oh, marked by the scissor lady. Oh, what's this? So that's the enemy stamina. It's 12 HP, plus 2 damage to everybody in the party. Nice. Uh, this lets finds you a chance to successfully attack the enemy. The higher power, the harder it will be. Okay. Low by 50%. No, 5%. I don't know why I said 50. Hmm. Interesting, so we got a kick that we can do. Uh, oh. I uh, need an equipped weapon. Right, the uh, text has sorted itself out now. Okay, fine. Uh, can't do either of those because we don't have a weapon. Attack boost, it makes attack has issue 10% chance of hit, and it's stacked. Okay, we haven't got a firearm either. Prepare your attack. Time needed 36. Hmm. Right, let's just try and kick to start with. See what happens. Oh, we can stack them. Nice. Two kicks. Then we'll do attack boost. There's a lot going on. Fine, let's do it. Okay. Punch to no, so she's taken nine damage overall. Let's keep doing the kick, even though it was a punch. She stabbed me with the scissors though. Ouch. Eight experience points, we got it. Okay, we have got the chalk though. You found the blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ri ritual. Don't know why I was trying to read that as a completely different word. It clearly says a ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it will be enough. Hmm, redraw one and two. I wonder why I've got the option to redraw. That's fine. Anyway, explore the school. <laughs> like in the face. A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lip stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Do you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Luck check. Success. The creepy substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Nice. Kind of hoping uh, that. Sound of scissors getting louder. You must hurry. Yeah, I was kind of hoping she would leave me to uh, candles or something. But, wasn't the case. Okay, access my storage. What do we got? That thing. Got a friend's diary. Got a knife. Okay, and a couple of notes. Explore the school a bit more. With the trail growing cold, it must be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. I know, I was there. Uh, need paranoia status. Wow. Study issues. Yeah, do that. Knowledge check. Get in. Good knowledge. Near closing time, you stumble upon a curious article on the last page of a local newspaper. You copy the author's name along with the address before getting ready to leave. Minus 3% of doom. Okay, that's good. We always like a lower doom percentage. You found the holy candle in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Let's do it then. Wait, what's that?
Interesting design. The Sigil and Holy Candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong? Frozen no fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks. Am I beautiful? Of course you are. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Got three heads. Sideways. Okay, 30 HP, three damage, three power. Right. We don't have anything special to do, really, do we? It's just really attack. It's about all we got. Um, let's do some kicks. See how that works. Okay, minus 12, that's good. That could be. Alright. Oh no, I missed one. Uh oh. Look at our face, we're not looking so good down here. Okay. Should be all right as long as three of these attacks hit. Yes, easy, never in doubt. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. The only thing left of her are the large scissors. You stare at them, unsure what to feel. Something tells you you want to keep them. You need them. Very slowly, you pick up the scissors, and your mouth widens in a smile. Ending B is spine chilling story of school scissors. Fair enough. There's two possible ways. I'm guessing there was a way to uh, like comfort her, so it's more a spiritual way to attack and resolve the issue. That would be my guess. Anyway, also there's A, B, C, D, and E with a five ending. This woman is gone for good, or is it? You shudder, knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the Elvish being. Broads are knowledge is key. Still hope, tireless, and time passes one day. Okay, so what if we do it again? Oh, no choice. The old god stirs. A weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Oh. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that's how we heal. That's not so good. Town status. Oh, that was it. A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. As doom progresses, Old God's influence will slowly corrupt and change this calm seaside town. We're on minus two, so fine. Uh, still can't level up. Still can't level up. We did get a bit of health, but we're not looking so great. My home. Inside the mailbox, find a small key. Okay. Back in your home, you think of your next move. Can we slot Nothing happens for a light switch still. Okay. Another mystery. Hmm. Not so good. Oh, E was the first key. Okay. Oh, that's probably because we solved the mystery. Makes sense because we need to solve five. Also, we're looking terrible down here on the bottom right. Well, not terrible. She still looks alright. Looks great though, normally. Okay, so watch TV. Take a bath. Change clothes. Uh, let's take a peek through the peephole. Yeah, let's do that. I saw you. Ah, oh, trying, trying to get him. Cool. Start the mystery. Go back to the town screen. Well, I know there's the lighthouse. Um, yeah, I was thinking take a rest to hopefully heal HP, but I'm not seeing like a sleep option. There's a take a bath, which I guess we could do. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll take a bath, then we'll change clothes. Makes sense to do it in that order, and not the other way around. Uh, looks like a guy in the bath, don't worry about it. Shall I help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles? What temperature should you set it on? Extra stamina regained. Yeah, we kind of need that. I don't think we're going to get 24 experience points, but that's uh, that's good. Oh, no. How much did we get? Just two? We have enough for that. I've already taken one, so we can't. Okay. Uh, change clothes then. Let's change into. Guessing just that. It's a nice movie poster. Oh. Looking good. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm blind. Teacher's pet. Gym clothes. I don't know what that is. Is that Callan? Okay, 
thing? Just a sports outfit, maybe? Uh, what's teacher pet? Okay. And race gym clothes. Captain. We're going to go for Callum. Why not? And finally, let's watch TV. Search for a missing person that continues in the forest surrounding Shiokawa. If you have any information, please contact the police department. Okay. Uh, I don't have information. But it's nice to know I can. Hold on. No. Uh... <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Wasn't expecting to be able to do that. Don't have any VHS cassettes to watch. Alright, let's back out then. Before we have just sixes going across the screen. Uh, let's have one more peek. Anything? Doesn't look like it, does it? Let's check out this lighthouse. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. Let's just go in. Sure. Multiple padlocks. Aha! You buy keys. Oh. Padlock E, which one was that? One, two, three, four. It's this one down here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Still can't go in there. Interesting. Best scissors. Can we equip? We can. Slot A. Nice. We're turning into a scissor woman. Ah, uh, I'll go on. Do you know what? We'll do, we'll do one more little bit. Another little mystery. Maybe we can't click on anything else. I mentioned about the hospital, but I don't know how you get in there. Right, so. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Alarming accounts of abnormal arms. Uh, well, I'll have to go see some mermaids, why not? With a swim captain, so it makes sense. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He placed every scrap of the legend about them in the school. Basement. Also, there were five endings, it seems like. Now it's minus snap. He's decided it's time to make one of his own using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. Okay. To advance this mystery, investigate the circle location as you progress. The location and the rules may change. Oh, okay. So, downtown. I'm guessing that's how we go to the hospital, right? Yeah. Here we go now. I know it's not the correct order, but... Oh, wait, what? Which is casually in there. It's an old hospital. Oh, I made the wrong choice. Oops. Find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting, the disgusting smell of Ford remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary where doctors determine the cause of death. Pull the cloth. Rosemary check. Success. Praying it's not what you think it is, you slowly pull off the cloth, revealing an old anatomy mannequin. It was probably used as an anatomy class aid. You breathe a sigh of relief. Nice. Uh, okay, down town. Double check. Yep. Yep. Downtown. Police station. Shop for items. Cost doom. Hmm. Let's get this use location twice to complete this quest. Okay. So many, so many choices. You're already there. Let's go. You want to see the event? I look for warehouse job. Try to recruit allies to pray at the temple. Town stocks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies a small hill at the town centre. Let's go recruit some allies. Nice. Didn't take long to find someone willing to join you at the bar. You explain everything you know so far over a few drinks. Nice. So who's our ally? Yoko, okay, I'm guessing? Uh, missing hiker? Oh god, she's covered in blood. The forest wants her dead. Well, okay. Oh, we can talk to her. She smiles faintly. Oh. She might be a little bit crazy. Uh, back to the sea cell then. Do you need to do it? Oh, cool. Get on with us. In the summer of 1971, a whole class trip fell to the sea when a rock they were standing on collapsed. 
didn't find the bodies until now. Oh. Oh. There's no head. Okay, so we do have... Wait, so there's a weak attack and strong attack. Knowledge based. Hmm. Both knowledge based. There's a hit. So, okay, right. Time needed. Obviously, you got the 200. So I was just trying to figure it all out as well, even though I just casually went through it earlier. Um, so it does more damage. And damage is pretty good. They can't say 50% of it, uh, 80% of all damage. Mm. Can't do that, unfortunately. A heart way, 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 way. One, two, three. That's it, we got it. Hopefully, we won't die. Does free damage, or the bodies do free damage, I guess, not she. Okay. Ooh. Good day. That's good. And we just kick her. Nice. You may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Oh. Solve. Solve the mystery. The mystery of the bodies. Oh, let's see. So, back to downtown then. Uh, shop for items? Any health items? Uh, dog? What's your name, dog? You haven't got a name. Well. Okay, so, energy drink, no, therapy, sewing kit. Oh, and medicine. Okay, makes sense. Cool. Minus one charisma, though. Oh. You don't want that. Oh, I might have to, though. Needs Yak as a card. I wish I had one, though. A random discounted item. Sure. What did you give me? Blue gem? Feels cold in your hand. Okay. Vibrates slightly in your hand. And feels cold. Feels cold and it vibrates. Okay. I would also like... Look here. Look here. Steak knife. Ooh. Energy drink, food, medicine, uh, flat pack. The inventory slot. Have a discount item. Got empty bottle. Well, one more. Compass. Two experience for each investigated location. Ooh, oh, that's kind of good. I like that. Like that. One more discount. Don't have enough money. He's absolutely had me. Okay, let's go. Police station. Uh, officers at the police station are busy working on various weird cases. You are stopped by a policeman. How can we help you? More police patrol, share information. Sure. Nothing I can inspect, is there? Share information. Detective thanks you for your information and hands you the prize. Oh, it gives me plus one to fun. But I lose experience points at times. Also, thank you and promises more police rolls. Lowers the combat encounter rate. Ah. Hmm. Why did you want me to go downtown? Because I could just click investigate downtown. The road seems to twist and turn. You're not when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Need a map. Oops. Well, let's get lost. Spent hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage. The blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Brilliant. Oh, what's this? Modifier to... Oh, school's threat level. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. No modifiers. Uh, oh, what's this one? Dangerous. Okay, forest is dangerous. Oh yeah, because the forest wants uh, Kyoko dead as well. Be useful liquids. Yep. Yeah, that. Speaking of, back to our school. Suddenly, everything slows to a crawl. Time Warper. Nice. Okay, we know the drill. One, two, three. Boom. Bam. Let's go. That's two damage to all, so we'll be safe. As long as we hit him enough. 
Some of us steal some of your lifespan. Well, that's not good. Uh, one, two, three. Bang, bang. Mm. Okay, come on, we got him. Yes, we got him. Any other goodies? No. And we still need to investigate the school. We are not looking good, unfortunately. You enter the art classroom. The room is cluttered with half finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Uh, check out the mask of the sculpture. I'm thinking the masks will lead to combat. So we'll go sculpture. Or then again, we're going to the sculpture. Probably evil one. Let's go sculpture. The head of one of the sculptures looks so lifelike. You move closer and raise your hand nervously to touch it. It falls off. The headless person stumbles out of the sculpting classroom and it's reaching for your head. Well, reaching for my head and I'll be dead, I think. Hmm. And there's a way for me to. Uh... They guarantee to hit. Tough. Yeah, I think I, I think I've had it, as they say. Well, can I do it three times and hope. Why not? Hopefully, do twenty-seven. Oh, oh, best at games, best at games, and we can level up. Absolutely, the best at games. Advance to the next experience level. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Right. Uh, please. Plus four to stamina, probably. Fast swimmer, outdoors. Outdoorsman? Uh, to tell me. Plus one luck. Faster offensive actions. Oh, okay. Nice. And leadership is plus one charisma. Here we go. Ah. There's a, there's a snack. Thank you. Boosted my doom up. Uh, we're getting one stamina for all past event skill checks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fruit rusting at home. Ooh, maybe. Uh, I do like discipline though. And we are going to go plus four to stamina because I will die otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Next. Travel to morbid school. I wasn't expecting it to be morbid. A nauseating stench stops you. Someone has scattered rotting fish guts every rank, hung up countless fish heads. Cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside visually attack the windows. Well, do some stamina. Our realism's not looking too good. Realism? Reality? Real danger? Okay. Five stamina. We're not doing particularly great. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package in the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package but hesitate. An icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. Uh, examine. Well, reason, that was it. Not until you've unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked, you let it fall to the floor from your bloodied hand. Was it a head? Probably was a head, wasn't it? Uh oh. One reason left and five stamina, I think. We're done so. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend. Father Yasuki. Hey kiddo, says the priest who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Lend me a hand. Uh, yeah, let's lift the heaviest box. Come on, our strength's alright. Lifting the box. Lifting the box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it all over with relatively quickly. Afterwards, Fabiaski invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and home-baked cookies made by one of your parishioners. You explain your situation to him, the priest listens, letting you vent all of your doubts and anxiety. Well, at least we've got some reason. Hmm. Travel to school. Let's investigate. Free stamina, free reason. You hear a faint sound walking uh, while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model 
heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. <gasps> Down to two stamina. Uh oh. Okay, we got this. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she's alright. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress at the upper part of this. A tail of a fish has been crudely sewed in place of her legs. She was too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. He looks at you up and down. Maybe you... You'll do! Yeah. Stepping carefully over a corpse, the janitor picks up the bloody axe. 35 HP. Hmm. Now we are dead. Definitely. Yeah, exactly does nine. It's only doing four still. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. Yeah, nothing we can do. <sighs> Unbelievable. You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Yay! <laughs> well, I mean, we beat him, but we're dead. Which, you know, is a bit confusing. I wonder if there was a way to switch. Probably was a way to switch to Kyoko, wasn't there? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, send against enemy. Ah, uh, we maybe should have done that. The mad janitor's body slumps to the floor. You pick up his axe and, using it as a crutch, you try to leave the room. Injured and weakened, you slowly lose consciousness on the school corridor. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the mad janitor is found, but you will sleep a little better tonight, knowing that the other students are safe. That was ending A, apparently. Knowledge is key. Thorough investigation. Tireless. Well, we're on zero. Um, the old god stirs. Yeah, it feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Nice. Uh, take the key. Can we take a bath and cover some stamina? <laughs> oh. I suppose this next encounter, isn't it? That uh, that's when we're gonna die. So let's at least that shall we let's see what happens get through let's get into an encounter and see what happens when we die terribly I can level up no. wait what is supposed to die what's going on wait what's that Oh, steak knife. Nice. Wait, but we're still alive. Did I cheat death? Is that what happened? Did I cheat death? Because I finished with more stamina because I resolved events. I think I cheated death, you know, guys. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I cheated death. Easy does it. Uh... Okay, well. I guess I'll end it there then. Uh, I don't know where to save. Options? It doesn't look like it. Anyway. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's World of Horror. Uh, I like the bunch of different options. I like the fact you can choose different... Uh, choose? Choose different characters. Not cues. You can choose different characters. And pretty much go about the events in multiple ways. And you also get different endings for those events. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you like horror games or point to click games or adventure games that could suit all of you anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye everybody